Right now, the state legislature takes a pass on approving a Black History Month resolution, a look at the history of the resolution and what could happen in the future. Also, one of the men accused of shooting and killing a man at the Harmony Apartments is on trial today. What was said in today's testimony? And later, how some health experts are handling mental health for their youngest patients. It's all ahead on News Three Now at 6. We're almost now to the end of February and the end of Black History Month, but lawmakers at the state capitol have yet to pass a Black History Month resolution. And that is something that has become controversial in recent years. Political reporter Will Keneally has more. Yeah, that's right. We won't see a Black Black History Month resolution passed the full legislature this year after earlier the assembly closed up shop for 2024 without passing it. It's been controversial in the state capitol since 2019 when lawmakers wanted to include Wisconsin native Colin Kaepernick in that year's resolution. Now his name was later removed because of concerns due to his criminal justice protests during the national anthem. Now members of the legislative black caucus sat down with Wisconsin I earlier this month. We see so many attacks on minorities in that building from wanting to eliminate DEI in the UW systems um, to let's just talk about it in the Capitol our black history proclamations. Now this year's resolution did not pass in the state assembly but it could still make it through in the state senate when they convene later in March. Now since 2019 only one other year saw a black history month resolution clear the entire state legislature. Now in some of those senate votes democrats actually voted down the resolutions. Even though we're all elected by the same number of people um, it's just it's just become really hard to it's become really hard to try and get that through to the other side. Now we reached out today to assembly leadership to see why a Black History Month resolution never made it to the floor for a vote and we did not immediately hear back. We did speak with a Democratic office on the Senate side. They say they are hopeful that it could still pass the state Senate. Thank you, Will. First Lady Jill Biden is returning to Wisconsin this weekend in an effort to drive more women to the polls. Dr. Biden's visit is part of a larger tour of battleground states that will last from March 1st through the 3rd. The tour is meant to coincide with the start of Women's History Month. This will mark Dr. Biden's second visit to Wisconsin in less than a month. No word on where she will be visiting. Temperatures a whole lot colder than what they were yesterday. Let's check the first one forecast with Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Charlotte, yeah, those temperatures have just nosed that. We saw almost a 60 degree drop in temperatures from the high temperature yesterday to the low temperature this morning. As we take a look at the time lapse from the uh, Edgewater Sky Cam, we had some clouds early this morning, but for the most part, it was sunny pretty much the entire day. And right now, sky are mainly clear, but uh, again, it's just cold out there. The only precipitation showing up on Doppler track, remember this time yesterday, we were looking at severe thunderstorms and tornadoes across northern Illinois. Now it's only snow that's showing up because it's changed that much. This morning we dropped to 11 degrees here in Madison. Uh, that again, a 59 degree temperature drop from the 70 degree high uh, yesterday and temperatures were in the single digits to our north and west. Current temperatures are generally in the 20s, although Camp Douglas has already dropped into the teens. Madison right now at 26, 23 in Middleton, and it's 23 degrees in Stoughton, but you factor in the winds, and it feels like temperatures are mainly in the teens. A few places out to the west, it feels like they're in the single digits. Look for temperatures to drop to about 20 degrees by late evening. The good news is we're not seeing any precipitation over the next few days, and we have a big warm-up on the way. I'll tell you how mild it'll get in just a few minutes. Gary, thank you. One of two men accused in the shooting death of 20-year-old Devon Grant at the Harmony Apartments last summer was back in court today. 32-year-old Devante Gafford faces multiple charges, including first-degree intentional homicide as a party to a crime. Our Braden Cross, Ross has been following this case since the start, and she joins us now with updates from the courtroom. Braden. Yeah, the prosecution came close to resting their case today. That's after calling several witnesses today and yesterday, including Grant's mother, who watched her son shot and killed on her doorstep last summer. Prosecutors say the shooting was in retaliation for a drug deal turned robbery earlier that day. One of the more interesting moments in court today, though, the prosecution called Valerie Mosley to the stand. She shares children with Gafford and admitted to speaking with him about the trial last night. That's something she was court ordered not to do. Here's a clip of that phone call played in court today. Take a listen. They ask you about anything they got another I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's Mr. Gafford last night telling you to respond to my questions by saying, I don't know. I don't remember. Right? It is. 
Now the prosecution spent the rest of the day showing cell phone records, DNA evidence and more linking Gafford to the shooting. We expect them to rest their case sometime tomorrow morning. Then it's on to the defense. The question now is whether or not Gafford himself will take the stand. We're expecting the trial to wrap up tomorrow and we'll keep you updated online at channel 3000.com and right here on News 3 Now. To Sussex, a babysitter is pleading not guilty for killing a family's dog. Keely Sonneman is facing a felony count in relation to the death of a chihuahua. Prosecutors say the dog was found dead with several stab wounds a day after Sonneman babysat one of the family's children. Well, today in court, Sonneman entered a not guilty plea by reason of insanity. She's scheduled to be back in court on May 6th. Madison Fire Department says it responded to a FedEx delivery truck that caught on fire Monday afternoon. Crews were called to the intersection of Stoughton Road and Hepker Road just after 2. Officials say the driver noticed the fire after looking under the hood. That fire then spread from the front of the truck to nearby grass. The fire was extinguished shortly after crews arrived. No injuries were reported during the incident. Shipments were not affected by that fire. A nationwide mental health crisis is affecting teens and young adults at rates like never before. But experts tell us mental health management can start as early as infancy. Maddie Heimsch has more. According to the Wisconsin Office of Children's Mental Health, 18% of Wisconsin teens considered suicide in 2023. 9% reported attempting it. Experts tell me more can be done in early childhood to decrease these numbers. All of the foundations are laid early on, and everything that is laid is laid through relationships with others, with repeated interactions with adults, caregivers. The agency says 80% of brain development occurs between ages zero and three. The support that parents uh, provide their youngest children is really important. They are um, critical in terms of noticing feelings, um, helping to respond to those feelings, building a foundation of good mental wellness. Linda Hall is the director of the Office of Children's Mental Health. She and Lana Nanaid, director of the Alliance of Infant Mental Health, both told me the most important thing parents can do is called serve and return. When babies serve an interaction, the caregiver can foster healthy communication and self-image by returning an interaction. These early connections with an attentive adult create a communication baseline. Line. They're so young and often people say, oh, they won't remember, but that's not true. They remember in a different way. This is the years of the most potential and also the highest vulnerability. Paul and the nine tell me a child's mental health is dependent on the mental health of surrounding adults, leaving parents and caregivers to set the tone for how children will self-regulate, connect with others and view the world around them. Reporting in Madison, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. Now you only have one more day to nominate your favorite person or place for Best of Madison. You can nominate from a variety of categories, including food, the arts, entertainment, fitness, and more. The Best of Madison poll will qualify those living throughout Dane, Rock, Columbia, Dodge County, and more. You can nominate once a day in each category through tomorrow. Find more details. I cast your vote at channel3000.com. And coming up on News 3 Now at 6, the city of Madison releases its schedules for collecting yard waste and brush collection. Plus, dozens of students from around the state gather in McFarland to learn how to deal with hate and violence. We'll be right back. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Brought to you by Ruber Law Offices. I'd love to thank everyone at Gruber for taking time and being patient with me. Thank you. I'm just really, really grateful. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Gruber, thanks. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Thank you very much. Win a hand-paid jackpot at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells, and you'll have a chance to win a new Corvette and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Drawings going on now at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Steinhoffel's Buy More, Save More sale is back. This is the best time to refresh your whole house because the more you buy, the more you save. You can take up to $300 off your purchase of bedroom, dining, sofas, home office, and so much more. The more you buy, the more you're going to save. Plus, we're giving you 10% off clearance furniture. So get in today and save big at Steinhoffel's Buy More, Save More sale. 
There's never been a better time for a fresh start with Feldco. Jumpstart your home's upgrade this month with 40% off Feldco windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Warmer weather's on its way. Tackle your to-do list early and enjoy comfort and curb appeal all season long. Plus, no interest until 2025. Let the experts at Feldco upgrade your home this season. But hurry, 40% off ends Thursday. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Win a hand-paid jackpot at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells, and you'll have a chance to win a new Corvette and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Drawings, going on now at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Start your new day with the News 3 Now This Morning team, bringing you local breaking news, exploring all that makes our area special, and letting you know what to expect when you head out the door. News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. Weekdays. You're watching News 3 Now at 6, moving forward. More than 300 students from more than 20 Wisconsin high schools are gathering in McFarland this week to learn how to combat hate in their schools. Today, the students heard from two speakers who both hated Muslims but moved away from hatred. Richard McKinney says he originally planned to bomb a mosque in Indiana. Instead, he ended up becoming a Muslim, even serving as president of the mosque he previously planned to blow up. Meanwhile, Chris Buckley's hatred of Muslims led him to a leadership role in the KKK. Our hope is that every student here walks out of here with the notion that I can accept people who are different than me, different than me in race, gender preference, identity, all of those pieces of our identity, um, and that they can accept those people, not necessarily agree, but accept and support. Well, after the two speakers, the students also participated in a training on how to confront hate and collaborate on developing strategies to bring back to their schools. City of Madison's schedule for collecting springtime yard waste is now out. Each neighborhood gets two curbside pickups during the spring. All scheduled set out dates are on Sundays. Crews will then circle through neighborhoods during the work week following that Sunday that's listed. You can find the specific dates that crews will be in your area at cityofmadison.com. And in addition to yard waste collection, the city released its brush collection schedule. You can find those exact dates that will be happening in your neighborhood at cityofmadison.com slash brush collection. Crews will not be picking up yard waste piles, just sticks and branches. Brush has to be at least 18 inches in length but shorter than eight feet in length. If you'd rather drop off your brush, you can always do so at the Streets Division drop-off sites. When we come back, while some are enjoying this recent string of warm weather, they're also wreaking havoc on our lakes. Plus, a gas station in Portage is getting attention after selling a couple of winning lottery tickets. This says the Mega Millions jackpot continues to rise. And we may see more record high temperatures by the weekend. Gary's complete forecast after the break. Before USA insulation, one room was colder than the other. It was harder to keep the temperature at a, at a good level. At that point, we realized that we needed to check into the walls and see what was going on. It's an older house. After USA insulation came in and, and put the foam in, we noticed almost immediately the following month was about a $40 decrease in our bill. The following month after that, it was around $50, $55. So we started seeing results almost immediately after they put the insulation in. USA insulation. Softbury Healthcare is here to help. To help with your shoulder pain. Your knee injury. That hip that bothers you. With your foot or ankle pain. We focus on quality. We focus on results. And take time to listen. So that your care is the best care. For you. 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 For you. We're here for you. Sauk Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics. Listening, healing, caring. It's in our nature. most spectacular night out is Moulin Rouge, the musical. Winner of 10 Tony Awards, including Best Musical. The New York Times calls it dazzling, gasp-inspiring. In Moulin Rouge, life is beautiful. Performances begin July 9th at Overture Center. Tickets at Overture.org. Welcome to Badgerscape Design and Landscape. We offer a full range of landscaping services, from design to maintenance. Our professional team is dedicated to meeting all your landscaping needs. 
Call us at 608-295-1446 or visit Badgerscape Design and Landscape.com. Your logo can identify your company, inspire your customers, and energize your team. We're 4imprint, and we can help your logo create moments that matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Watch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they battle with the Bulls on your new local home for select Bucks games. Don't miss a second of the action as the Bucks head to the Windy City to tip off with their interstate rivals. It's a battle on the border. Bucks, Bulls on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Friday at 9 on Television Wisconsin. Watching News 3 now at 6, moving forward. Welcome back. For the second time this month, a $50,000 lottery ticket has been sold at the same quick trip in Portage. Our Catherine Merck shows us how it's becoming a bit of a pattern to hit the jackpot at this location. At this small town, Wisconsin quick trip, their lottery tickets are winning big. The chances of winning a $50,000 Powerball prize are one in over 900,000. And I can't imagine how much exponentially more that is to sell back to back. The assistant store leader, Eldon Shire, says the convenience store has had two $50,000 tickets win this month. It's a surprise and it's nice. He doesn't know who the winners are and who came into the store, but he says since the word of the lucky machine spread, more people have come into play. Maybe draw a few more people in here, get some extra sales and everything like that. These two tickets are just the latest in a string of winnings at the Portage Quick Trip on Washington Street. Since 2017, scratch tickets winning 25,000, 50,000, 54,000 and 100,000 have come out of the store. Three 50,000 winning tickets and a 140,000 winning ticket were sold as well. Glad to uh, make a difference in their lives somehow and give them some extra money for their daily occasions. So if there's any place to press your luck, the odds are in your favor here. Maybe we'll sell you a million dollar one. Reporting in Portage, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. The most recent winning ticket was purchased at the Quick Trip for the Saturday drawing. The ticket matched four of the five numbers as well as the Powerball. As the fish fry season gets into full swing, one of the most popular fish on the menu is struggling with the warmer temperatures we've been having. According to a new study in the journal Limnology and Oceanography Letters, the walleye is having trouble keeping up with how fast the seasons are changing. Usually, walleye mate and lay eggs when the frozen lakes are thawing every spring. The study says the changing climate is disrupting that pattern. The ice melts and then the light and, and uh, heat from the sun allows uh, algae to bloom and then the, the zooplankton, these small animals that live in the, the lakes, eat the algae and then the fish hatch and they eat the zooplankton. And what we think happens is when ice off is either extremely early, uh, like it looks like it's going to be this year, or extremely late, um, that kind of succession of events gets mixed up. And sometimes that means there's not enough zooplankton around for the baby fish to eat, and those fish don't grow and they don't survive. If fishery managers can identify lakes where walleye populations are doing relatively well, they can try to keep conditions optimal so that the fish can have better conditions. Well, temperatures are cold right now, but they'll be warming back up soon. Gary's here with a complete look at your forecast. Yeah, usually this time of year when we have a cold snap, it doesn't last very long, but this was just a really big cold snap that we had in the last 24 hours. Low temperatures will drop into the lower teens again tonight, but a big warm up's on the way with temperatures near or above record high temperature levels for this weekend and Monday of next week. And we'll also see some showers and thunderstorms back in the forecast from Sunday night into Monday of next week. Over the last 48 hours, temperatures have gone from 70 degrees down to 11 early this morning and temperatures right now are only in the middle 20s. Uh, record high temperatures though certainly within reach for both for Saturday, Sunday and Monday of next week as well as warm overnight low temperatures. So again, we, we go from record highs to very cold temperatures and then back to record high temperatures again. And you can see this trend. The average high temperature, 36 degrees, warms to 41. 
over the next 10 days. But we go from 46 to 51 over the next couple of days, and then we're in the 60s Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Temperatures drop off a bit for next week, but even those temperatures are about 10 degrees above average. 8 to 14 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Guess what? Above normal temperatures. We've seen this pattern pretty much for the last month and a half, and the highest probabilities of above normal temperatures from Madison all the way through New England. T uh, precipitation expected to be above normal. We're going to get into a more active pattern, especially toward the end of next week, as a couple of weather systems kind of move through, and we have showers in the forecast pretty much from Thursday through Sunday of next weekend. But on weather track, <coughs> the upper level winds have shifted to the northwest, bringing in that shot of cold air. The leading edge of the cold air now sweeping through parts of uh, Georgia down into southern portions of Alabama. This is really cold, and you can see the lake effect snows kicking in here. Farther out to the west, though, the next big storm system, the Pacific Northwest, already starting to buckle the jet stream, and that'll send it back to the north. So when that happens, the milder Pacific air starts moving back eastward, and we see a big warm-up. In fact, right now, we're under the coldest air here in our part of the Midwest, but notice out to the west, there's a warm front. Temperatures already climbing into the 40s and 50s across parts of the western Dakotas. Our part of the Midwest, still cold right now. At least the winds are dying down, but temperatures uh, mainly are in the teens and lower to middle 20s. A little bit uh, warmer to the south, but you can see those temperatures, for the most part, are on the cold side. And compared to 24 hours ago, these temperatures are down between 30 and almost 45 degrees compared to where they were at this time yesterday. But just as quickly, those temperatures are warming up out to the west. That was the area that was cold yesterday while we were mild. So notice the winds. Future track winds right now pretty light, but tomorrow they start coming in out of the south, and that starts our warm-up, and that's going to be with us pretty much for the rest of the week. Planning your night. Temperatures lower 20s by 9 p.m., by midnight, they're down into the upper teens. Skies will be clear. The winds will lighten up a little bit. So that will allow the low temperatures to drop off, but at least the wind chills won't be quite as cold. 15 in Madison by 3 a.m., and those temperatures dropping off to about 13 degrees by early tomorrow morning. Planning your night across Dane County, look for a low of 13 in Verona, 14 in Brooklyn, and 13 degrees in Stoughton. Across the rest of southern Wisconsin, Milwaukee drops to 18, 13 in Watoma, 17 in Prairie du Chien, and 17 for the overnight low temperature in Platteville. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, windy and milder. High temperature, about 20 degrees warmer than today at 46 degrees. And we go up from there, 51 on Friday, sunny and windy. Saturday, 62 degrees, flirting with record high temperatures at that point. Sunday, almost 70 degrees, and then we'll see some shower and thunderstorm chances Sunday night into Monday. Temperatures drop off a little bit next week, and then that kind of unsettled period toward the end of next week with some daily shower chances. But temperatures will still be mild, mainly around 50 or above. Gary, thank you. The Brewers facing their former manager for the first time this year. Could they maybe get a little revenge leading up to the season? We'll find out next in sports. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Hurry into Menards. 11% off everything is happening now. For more than 65 years, Menards has been your one-stop shop for post-frame buildings. Receive free estimates when you design yours. Plus, get 11% off. We carry the largest selection of garage doors in stock. Or you can design your own using our garage door design program. This 9 by 7 garage door starts at $399.99 after 11% off. Save big money at Menards. Want to instantly look more attractive, years younger, and even healthier? The solution is whiter teeth. Even teeth that are just a little yellow are a problem. They rob your appearance, make you look older, and can hurt your confidence. But you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. So from that point on, I've been sold. My absolute favorite thing was how easy it was. It takes literally less than five minutes. Power Swabs has made a really big difference in lifting the stains and making my smile more beautiful. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application and after five-minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. 
Plus, unlike other whitening methods, power swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays, and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and nothing. I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> it's time to discover what you've been missing. Now, it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. I like my smile after finishing the power swabs. This is a power swab smile. This is a power swab smile. This is a power swab smile. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now for a special offer to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Power Swab Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will also get free shipping. Order right now and take the Power Swab's five minute challenge. If your teeth aren't a full two shades wider after your first application, simply return it and you'll get your money back. Of course, it's not the regular season just yet, but the rivalry between the Cubs and Brewers is already underway for the first time. The crew faced off against former manager Craig Council. Picking this one up, bottom of the fifth, Brewers down 2-0. That's William Contreras hitting this one deep to left field, bringing in Vinny Capra from second. Crew get on the board there, but that was the only offense they could muster today. Next inning, the Cubs would add four more runs to increase their lead to five. Cubs go on to win. 6-1, your final. Milwaukee Bucks back to their winning ways. Coming out of the NBA All-Star break, Milwaukee has now won three straight. Its latest victory coming last night against the Charlotte Hornets, an easy one. Bucks win 123-85. Giannis, 24 points in just 24 minutes. Their most lopsided win of the season. When asked about the team's recent success, Milwaukee forward Bobby Portis said it's about communication and also just having fun again. I think we kind of put too much stress on our shoulders of how I got to make this shot or I got to get this possession or got to get this stop, whatever it is. Have fun. When you have fun and you play the game with energy and effort, the ball finds energy and the ball finds who needs to shoot the ball. So uh, getting back to playing our style of play, having fun and just playing for each other, man, it's, it's, it's fun. We play the right way. The Bucks next game tomorrow at Charlotte against the same Hornets team. They just blew out. Then on Friday, they'll leave Charlotte to go to Chicago, take on the Bulls. You'll be able to watch that game on Television Wisconsin, 9 p.m. Badger men's hockey team getting ready for their series against Michigan State. The Badgers have a chance to claim a Big Ten championship, earn a first-round bye in the conference tournament. In this week's uh, Wisconsin huddle, Owen Lindmark stops by to talk all things Badgers and Spartans. That show will air at 6.30 on Friday right here on News 3 Now. And former UW-Whitewater head football coach Lance Leipold getting a raise at Kansas. The Jayhawks are boosting his average salary to more than $7 million per year. That puts Leipold in the top three average salaries in the Big 12 Conference. His contract will run through the 2029 season. Last season, Kansas went 9-4, and four, and that included a bull win over UNLV. During his time at UW-Whitewater, Leipold won six Division III national championships. Gary Canalti will soon be able to relax and watch a little more baseball. And we're going to have baseball temperatures. We're going to have to wait for the weekend. It's chilly out there now. Go from football and hockey temperatures right now to baseball uh -huh. Uh -huh. in about three or four days. Live view from the Edgewater Sky Cam. Skies are clear here, but that's just going to allow the temperatures to drop off pretty quickly. Live view from the Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam in Platteville. Sun just down below the horizon. Uh, no precipitation across southern Wisconsin. Even though Madison isn't showing up in there, I checked, they're at 22 degrees. Most areas seeing temperatures in the lower 20s here in Dane County, 22 in Fitchburg, uh, 23 degrees in Verona, and 23 in uh, Middleton. And you factor in the winds, it feels like 11 in Madison. Most areas seeing wind chills right around 10 degrees, a few places already in the single digits. Look for a low to, or, uh, temperatures to drop off to about 20 degrees by late evening and down to about 13 by tomorrow morning. But by Sunday, we could be up close to 70. Go figure. All right, the roller coaster <laughs> continues. Gary, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Have a great evening, and we'll see you back at 10.